Hi, it's Kip K. Welcome back to another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I have always loved photography, about as far back as I can remember. In fact, I give my dad credit for teaching me the art of photography and also for helping me set up my very first darkroom, which allowed me to bring the photos to life. Well, over the years, a lot of people have invented different techniques for creating photographic illusions. And that's what we're going to do today, as we make things look smaller than they really are with tilt-shift photography. You can find the tilt-shift photography project in Make Volume 9, and it's by Denison Bertram. The materials you'll need for this project are a rubber plunger that you can find in a local hardware store, an oversized lens, I used one similar to the one on the project, a Pentagon 6 camera format lens, and you'll need a plastic body cap to fit your camera, and of course a single lens reflex or a digital single lens reflex camera. The first step is to modify our body cap, and we need to cut out the entire center of that, so out to the shop where I secured the cap on a vise using some clamps. And then using my roto zip tool, I carefully cut out the center of the cap. The cap is going to have a rough finish, so you'll want to remove all the plastic burrs and smooth it out a little bit. I used a file. Now it's time to get to our toilet plunger, and I took the handle off the one end, and then I just cut both ends off because never having done this before, I wasn't sure how much I would need. I ended up with a short section that had three billows, and the lens fit in just right on the one end. Now we're going to need a backing that will go between the camera and the body cap. I decided to use an old VCR tape case because it was black plastic. So I drew a mark around the body cap and then cut out the plastic so you'll have a hole that's slightly smaller than the body cap and an outside diameter that's large enough to fit over the one end of our plunger. Using hot glue, I secured the body cap to our backing. Then I ran a ring of hot glue around the lens where it comes in contact with our plunger to secure it in place. Then one more final application of hot glue to the other end of our plunger to secure our backing. Okay, our tilt shift photography assembly is complete and it's attached to our camera. And now how this works is by adjusting the billows, by tilting them back and forth in different angles and, and playing with different angles of our uh, plunger billows, that will change the visual effect of our photographs. And that's what makes things look miniaturized. So by taking photographs of things from above, it looks like you're using a macro lens when you're really just shooting a normal lens at normal objects. And that's how to do tilt-shift photography. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. Music